in this video I'm going to set up your frame for laser engraving on the Lightburn software where you've got images that you've got from the internet. Okay, so open up Lightburn. First thing you need to do is make sure you've set it on to the Emblazer 2. So click on the Emblazer 2. Also click on Settings and make sure this grid snap distance is 0.00. .00. Okay, now that you've done that, File, Import, and we're going to bring in these images. Open. So that's an image file. File, Import, Halo logo. Now this one, we want to do an image trace on it. So Tools, Trace Image, Oh, fade image. So this pinky sort of a line is showing what's being traced and it's really good. I'll leave a link in the description of a light burn video that shows this in a lot more detail. Okay. I'm going to move that out and delete it. Click on this. Having a bit of trouble moving it because I think the toggle's in the middle there but you can move it with the arrow keys for up and down because we're going to have to resize them. So I'll just do a little bit of resizing now. Don't want to flip it. There, I've got it now. We'll do this one as well. Now I'm going to add a little bit of text in here as well. So that one there, A, that's text. So you can do it like that, and then you could click off it, click on, and if you want to change the text, it actually shows you what they're going to look like. So I just typed with any old font, and then I chose the one I want, or you can click on the text, and you can type. Click on the cursor, delete one of these. Now I've got everything I need, now I'm going to create the digital frame. So now your digital frame should be approximately 250 millimeters across here by 200 up and down, with a height there. And the frame itself is 40 millimeters, so this internal measurement is 170 by 120. But you're not working to those measurements, you're going to be working to the measurements of your frame. So your frame could be 252 by 202 and that's what you make it to. You don't put these measurements to the ones that I'm doing. Necessarily you do it to whatever the measurements your frame is. Right click on the rectangle tool. Now I'm going to change that this color to another color and so I click on the cursor, change that to red and that now is a cut file but it could have been a scan file so it's a scan it's closed in, we want it to be a cut file, cut. And I click on that and I'm going to change its size. So this has to be 250 by 200. Unlock the padlock and here we're going to type in 250 or in your case it will whatever your frame is. Click on the rectangle tool again. Back to the cursor, click on that. This one in my case is 170 by 120. Now I'm going to align them, so click on it, hold down the control key, both of them are selected. Align vertical center, align horizontal center, I should have grouped those, edit it, do it again, get both of them, select both, and I'm going to group it. Now that can be moved around. Now I'm going to put my different pieces in place. Scale it down a little bit. Get 
my text down on the bottom, make that substantially bigger. That looks good, I'll do a preview. So the pink areas are just moving backwards and forwards, the black is what's going to be lasered and engraved, that looks good. But I will turn off this cut file, we don't want to do that one, we don't want to show that one. Checking again, that should be nothing there, correct. Now I'm going to group all of this. Group. And I'm going to put it in the bottom left hand corner, that's the origin of the Emblazer 2. So I'll select it. Arrange, move to lower left. Now what we have to do is set up some powers and speeds. So I'm going to the library. Year 9 wooden frame, you need to click on that. Click on the 15. And we have a scan file and an image file we have to do. So I'll click on the image file. Click on image. Assign to layer. Click on the scan one. And where it says scan, click on that and assign to layer. These measurements should change. And we have, so they're both doing 33.3 millimeters a second and 100% power. But in the case of this one here, it's 100% power, but it will adjust it to suit the image down to potentially 0% power. So this is ready to save, I'm going to save it, and you have to make sure you name it with your name. Save as. Save. Now whatever you named it, you have to write on your frame as well, that that's what the name of your file is, so we engrave the right frame with the right file of laser work. And you've got to make sure that you put that file into the pen drive in the appropriate U9 folder. Thanks for watching another video by Digital Dovetail. Like and subscribe.